Kick and spin, get the job done. When there's no hope in sight, crash, crash, dummies will make things right. Slick and spin, and you could drop in. The best man for the job is a dummy. Crash, crash, dummies. <laughs> Me. Oh, right, spare tire, climb in the president's limo, and we'll make sure it passes the final test before we hand it over to the White House. Gee, Bull, this is exciting. Just think, the president will ride right here. I sure hope it passes. It's supposed to be indestructible. Supposed to be? Put your belts on, little buddy. Hey, I could get used to this. Hmm, maybe I should run for office someday. I mean, why not a dummy in the White House? Gee, that wasn't so bad. Okay, Bull, tell the Prez's limo is safe. We're not through with the bomb-proof test. Yep, he's in bomb! Guess we'll have to take out the sunroof. Can someone give me a hand? Shake a leg, Spin. We gotta finish this bike test before breakfast. Well, then we'd better break fast. <laughs> hey, Slick, I, I thought I had the cushy job today. Don't be ridiculous, Spin. You know I'm not as good as you are on motorcycles. Good luck, buddy. Don't forget your helmet. Hey, Slick, you didn't say anything about jumps. You want to impress Dr. Zub and try the indestructible Torso 9000, don't you? Absolutely! Besides, you'll be on TV. I could become a star! <laughs> yeah, you'll be a smash hit! I just went to pieces! Really? Did the camera get it? I forgot to take the lens cap off. Get me my leg so I can run away. Oh, that's a fine attitude. What would Dr. Zub say? Why don't you ask him? Huh? Morning, Dr. Zub. Well, I've made my choice for the test. You won't be disappointed in us, sir. We'll crash into anything. The Torso 9000 is a dummy's dream come true. Right, Slick. We're very grateful to be the first to crash it, sir. What gave you the idea you'd be the first to try the Torso 9000? Come on, Doc. We may be dummies, but we're not stupid. Naturally, you'd only want the best dummies in the business to wear the prototype torso. Well, you're right, but you're not through testing your new Protex suits yet. They're styling! So that means Ted will be taking the Torso 9000's first trial run. Ted gets all the fun jobs. Now, don't get us wrong, Doc. We love our Protex suits. Don't worry. You two are some of the best crashers we have. You'll have your chance with the 9000 soon enough. All, all right. right. Now, follow me. Ted's about to take his first test run, and I want you boys to see it. Boy, this is really super secret, eh, Doc? <laughs> you bet your luck nuts. The Torso 9000 is a top-secret device, and if it fell into the wrong hands, unstoppable. Ah! Oh, hey, Spin, check out the dreadhead. Put that down! Never touch this! Sorry, Doc. You have no idea how dangerous this head is. When R&D was designing the Torso 9000, they also attempted to improve on the dummy head. Improve? How can you improve on perfection, Doc? Get yourselves together and come with me. Take a look at this. Unfortunately, this new prototype head was a disastrous failure. For reasons we don't understand, this terrible head, when activated, was completely evil. That's terrible! You're right, Slick. That bin was meant for recycled paper only. It's nearly time for Ted's test. If this test is successful, we'll build torsos for all the crash dummies. Hey, there's Ted. Looks like he's really gotten a head start. 
Ted's head has been altered to fit only the Torso 9000. You could say Ted's really sticking his neck out for safety. <laughs> Ready, Ted? Three, two, one, ignition! Ted's really cooking now. He makes it look like an art. I trust he's paying attention. Crash like that. Hey, there's the torso. It appears the torso 9000 is undamaged. But where's Ted? Here he comes. I got him. No, I got him. Yeah. Nice catch. Quickly, we must get him into my lab. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It was quite a test run out there. I ironed out a few bugs. How's the Torso 9000? The Torso is fine, Ted. And once we get you back together, you'll be fine, too. After all, you've got a good head on your shoulders. Not at the moment, Doc. When I attach your head tomorrow, Ted, you'll be the most powerful crash dummy in the world. Oops. Sorry, Doc. I didn't think you'd still be here. Rocketing ratchet wrenches, is it that late? Good night, Horst. Please be careful in here. Yeah, sure. You betcha, Doctor. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oopsie. What did you do now, Horst, you dummy? You'd better find that noggin, or Dr. Zoop will have your job for sure. Yeah, there it went. Yeah, now let's see here, Mr. Head. Yeah, Mommy, maybe you was right. I should have been an engineer. Except that now I got to clean my mess up. Horst, you sure can get yourself in hot radiator water sometimes. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, sure. Time to clean up your act. <laughs> this place needs dusting. Jump out of bed. Huh? Time to get cracking. Ah! Come on, we gotta get to the test center and check on Ted. Right, just gotta brush my teeth. Morning, Dr. Zub. How goes it? Merciful mufflers. What happened here? It appears the Torso 9000 has been pilfered. Looks like someone stole it to me. Hey, the Dreadhead's gone too. What? Hey, get me out of here! Hey, there's Ted! Am I glad to see you guys? We're certainly glad to see you're all right, Ted. Boy, what a dream I had last night. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. But first, we should put me back together, right, Dr. Zup? I'm afraid that's going to be difficult, Ted. You see... Someone took the Torso 9000 last night. What? <laughs> took my body? Now, calm down, Ted. Dr. Zub here will fix you up, won't you, Dr. Zub? Dr. Zub? But I need my body! It's got my arms and legs on it! We'll find it. Yeah, it didn't just get up and walk away. As a matter of fact, Spin, that's precisely what happened. 
Junk Mountain. The perfect lair to begin our plan, Hubcat. Oh, sure, it would make a fine hotel. But there's no time for that now. My junk bot army will crush those ridiculous crash dummy do-gooders and get the plans for the Torso 9000 from the head idiot, Dr. Zub. And once I have those plans, my pet, nothing will stop me! Gentlemen, start your engines! <laughs> Sorry, we're late. <laughs> settle down, dummy. Settle down. We must get to work. Yeah, we have to find my body. Don't worry, Ted. We won't quit while you're ahead. As you've all heard, there is a powerful dummy on the loose. He has assembled himself from stolen junk parts. So we have to find this junk man before he can do any more damage. Yeah, and he can do plenty of damage with the Torso 9000. It's the torso, only more so. That's my body. That's my body. His next move may be to try to get this. It contains the plans for the Torso 9000. If Junkman got his evil hands on this information, the world would become a very unsafe place. Very unsafe indeed, Professor Brainless. Piston head, get me that micro disc. As you command, Master. What is the first step? To get off the roof, you idiot! As you command, oh, junk for one. What a moron! Go, go! You must distract those dummies long enough to steal that micro disc. idea to try and find Junk Man's hideout from the air, Dr. Zub. Yeah, these planes will really help. Eh, uh, right. Just remember, we'll be monitoring your progress here on the ground. Try to resist crashing the planes, as that will slow down your search for Junk Man. Roger, let's go. Finally? I think not, you flying crash turtles. What do you say we teach these airheads how to fly? Hey, okay. <laughs> hey, Spin! Where are you? I thought I told those darn dummies not to crash those planes. Yeah. How come they're not looking for my body? Come in, dummies. Pilot Spin here, sir. What's going on up there? It would appear our crash planes have simultaneously gone out of control at the same time. I suggest you bring your planes down this instant. Whatever you say, Dr. Zero. Why don't you crash those planes? Okay. There go our frequent flyer miles. <laughs> Excellent, Jackhammer. The plans for the Torso 9000. The information in this disc will mean the end of the crash dummies and safety as we know it. Thank you for choosing the Torso 9000, the most advanced variable referencing inverse particle drive mass field linkage space saving base trunk unit available today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Common knowledge. Where's the good stuff? Only through the miracle of polybureaucratic ramblings and super-secret monetary disposals have we been able to bring you this message. We know where you are! We know where you are! Hiya, Dr. Zub. You wanted to see us? Yes, that's right. I have good news. We love good news. Me too. What is it? The micro-disc has been stolen. And this is good news? Let me explain. I took the information on the disk and transferred it into my own memory bank. I then replaced the Torso 9000 information with a transmitter program that would tell me exactly where Junkman is. Doc, you're the genius of dummies. So, what are we waiting for? 
Let's go clean junk man's clock. You can take Bull's truck. You'll also need this to get inside his lair and these communicators. All right, we're off. Yeah, let's go. Uh, where are we going? You will find junk man here. that I was tricked by a... Uh, a common dummy, sir. What's this? I took the information on well, the desk into oh my gasket. The information is in Dr. Sneaky's head. Why didn't I guess? Master, master! Vehicle approaching! If those dummies make it past my booby trap, you three had better stop them. Unless you like the idea of becoming can openers. I've got more important bearings to grease. How are we gonna get through this gate? We're crash dummies, aren't we? <laughs> Say, that was all right. Like a drive in the park. Yeah, I thought there'd at least be a, a booby trap or something. What? Hey, Spin, I think I'm starting to feel the pressure of this job. Come in, Slick. Come in, Spin. Do you read? We read you, Dr. Zub. Oh, thank goodness. We thought we'd lost you. We're fine. Bull's truck's gonna need a little body work, though. <laughs> what else is new? We're going to continue up the road to the cap. What's happening? Perhaps it's the antenna. I'd better take a look. I'm not the smartest dummy around, but I'd say that's where Junkman and the Torso 9000 are. Brilliant deduction, Spin. Is it tax time already? You know, Spin, I feel like we're being watched. Well, you know the dummy motto, clean body, clean mind. I said watched, not washed. Now, come on. Huh? I thought we'd have more trouble than this. If I could just reach that blasted wire. Gee, Doc, I feel so helpless. Ted, there may be something for you to do yet. All right. I don't know how this thing came loose in the first place. What the? Hello, Dr. Deadbolt. I believe you have something I want. And you have something I want. That body's mine. Give it back. What are you going to do, uh, bore me to death? And you are coming with me. Look out! That looked like junk, man. Come on, let's go. Whoa! How are we supposed to get up there? With this. Stand back. I want to go first. I want to go first. Fire wind ready, Slick. Almost ready, Spin. Hey, Spin, you're fired. Yahoo! Wow, the castle didn't look this big from the outside. Uh, uh, let's try that again, Spin. Now, Dr. Dingy, you have one more chance to give me the plans for the Torso 9000. Never! Have it your way, you foolish fossil. But you should know that this device to which you are attached will suck out the information I require, whether you want it to or not! You diabolical fiend! Start the machine! Whoa. A penny for your thoughts, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the jig is up, Jug Man! You're too late. Give up yet? Looks like a roadblock, buddy. We're headed for that big pothole in the sky. Huh? <laughs> Dummies to the rescue! Down those dummies!
bounties. Chill, junk dudes. Fire! Fire! Partners, how we doing? Junkman doesn't have a chance. Don't speak too soon, Slick. <laughs> Junkman's heading out. You got the head part right. Whoa! Whoa! Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late, but... <clears throat> nice catch, spare tire. Hey! I hope we're not too late. We're sure glad to have you back, Dr. Zub. You'll be happy to know we've gotten rid of Junkman, sir. You haven't heard the last of me yet! <laughs> I'll be back! It looks as though you dummies have made the world a safe place once again. And your brains are safe in your head again. Yes, my brain chip is totally unharmed, and my memory function is completely intact. And I owe it all to you, Scooter and Eleanor. Huh? Dummy, buckle your safety belt. And leave the crashing to us. us.